Hi there and welcome to this quick tutorial on the CadRage Viewfinder app for iOS and Android. Now I've been using the CadRage app for quite a while now. Uh, it's one of my go-to apps for location scouting and storyboard creation. And it's just had a fairly big overhaul so I thought it'd be useful for me to go through some of the functionality of the app, how it works and uh, what I like about it. Now essentially what the app allows you to do is use your smartphone as a director's viewfinder. It simulates different camera packages and lens combinations to show you the field of view that a particular camera and lens combination would produce. Now the app comes pre-installed with hundreds of different camera packages and if you go into the menu what you can see is that you can choose from these and there's a long list what's also great to see is that for the same model of camera they have all the different configurations that that camera can operate in so for example a camera like the panasonic gh5 it has the various different modes the cinema 4k modes the full hd modes the UHD 4K modes and even the different aspect ratios 16 by 9, 1.85 to 1, 2.39 to 1, etc. So it really is comprehensive in terms of the different setups that you have that it can simulate. So if we go ahead and select a camera package and here I've got the Panasonic GH5 in 4K mode shooting in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and you can see here we have the different focal lengths of 25, 35, 50 and 85 millimeters. And using the button in the bottom right hand corner, we can switch between the different modes and then have a look at the field of view that that particular lens would create. Now what the app also allows you to do is to take still shots of those particular focal lengths. And what it handily does is it labels those images with the exact camera package that you were using, the focal length and even field of view for height and vertical in degrees. Now the app also allows you to record video and that's especially useful for if you're wanting to simulate a particular camera move, so say for example a, a dolly or a tracking shot, you can get a rough idea with the focal length selected and record a handheld video with your smartphone and that's a really handy feature as well. So one of the things that I really love about the app is the fact that you can also add adapters to your setup. Now I typically shoot, for example, on the GH5 with a Metabones XL. And if I go into the menu, you'll see that there are a number of preset adapters already in there, but you can also add your own custom ones. And in here I have a Metabones adapter already set up. I can go ahead and select that, come out of it, and that you can see now this is the framing with that adapter selected. If I take the adapter off, you can see the field of view much more punched in because we don't have that wide adapter on it. Now the app does have some limitations. It is obviously limited to the field of view that your camera phone can produce. So if you select a camera package with a, a large sensor, that can produce very wide fields of view. So for example, something like the Alexa 65 in open gate mode, what you will see is a large amount of blue borders around the image. And that is because the camera on the phone can't obviously produce that super wide field of view. And that's shown with the, the, the blue borders around the image. So that is one of the limitations of the app and it is something to bear in mind if you are using large sensor cameras and wanting to simulate a very wide field of view. So overall, I'm a big fan of the CadRage Viewfinder app. The fact that it comes on a smartphone and that's a tool that I always have in my pocket. So regardless of if I'm going on a location scout or maybe I'm just passing somewhere and doing a quick recce, the fact that it's in my pocket and I can just whip it out and already be looking at what a shot would look like on a particular camera package and lens combination is super handy. If you've got any questions or comments, drop them below. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.